Next technique I want to show is darting mace, and I'm also going to show the extension of this, which is pretty vicious. And I'm going to kind of break down a few components within it so that you can see uh, where the technique could possibly be countered if you don't do certain parts correctly, uh, as well as some rules and principles of motion throughout. So this is one for a two-handed wrist grab. So I've said before, if someone is grabbing me really tight, um, in real, what I want to do is make sure I'm in base. So right now, pull really tight, Evan, and do nothing but pull me. Yeah, I, have, I have zero base. So that's something to consider. So if I was just doing a wrist release, and he were to grab me, I would get base first. And maybe just grab my hand, he can't hold on. Hold as tight as you can. So look what I'm doing. But if I try to do or any wrist release or any type of a striking move while I'm not in base and he pulls me, I, I have no base. So that's something to consider right off the bat. Um, anyhow, in this particular technique, I don't want to counter grab far away from him. I want to keep this close to my body and I'm going to counter grab like crossing talon. But it's important that when I counter grab, I mean business and I really lock that hand. Because what happens is if I grab someone's wrist and they counter grab but don't mean business. So it's kind of, he has me countered, kind of. Watch long three. This is this motion in long three before we go back to our horse stance. It's so easy to counter that. So again, if it's not a tight grab and he, he goes to strike, watch how easy my, look, look, look at my hand. I just release and that's a, a counter grab. So I have to make sure that when I counter grab, I counter grab tight and I smash his elbow and I produce the dirt. That's going to go to the nose. Now when I hit the nose and his head goes back, bam, oh, it sets up this shot. It's a brutal shot. It's traditionally taught as a middle knuckle. Uh, we're all Canadians. We wear lots of clothing, especially on a day like this. So you could also make it a, a full fist as well. Okay, But I'll stick to textbook. So he counter grabs, or he grabs me rather, so I counter grab, boom, I smash my punch, boom, and then I catch his eye and me, and I drive him back with the heel palm. Now after that shot, you notice that, the little rule, soft to bend, hard to send. He went back, so I can't hit him effectively from here. Rather than hammering the groin, I'm gonna hammer his right rib cage. And that's gonna set up this heel palm claw. And I never block, cock, or check as a separate motion. So as this comes down, I hit him with the elbow, and I hit him with an uppercut, I scoop, and I chicken kick him to finish the, uh, the technique. We also don't want to hit the same zone twice. So you notice the variety of targets I'm going to hold really tight at. So I go counter grab tight, make my dirt, gut, eyes, throat, chin, ribs, face, boom, uppercut, scoop, and I chicken kick, so I'm hitting a whole spectrum variety of targets throughout. I'll do it one last time, darting base. So the dart is right here. Mason Kemp was our fist. Pop, gut shot. I hit, boom, drive him back. Pop, shot to the ribs, look at his face. So this hand is in position for this and the elbow. There's the uppercut, and there's my chicken kick. And I'm done. And that is darting mace.